So in this video, I will be talking about how does the ranks of mock exam matter and how does it affect your final score. Stating a very clear fact that the marks and rank will only and only matter when you give your 100%. In case you know you haven't studied for a subject, a core topic or have not revised the full syllabus of what is coming in the test, then you should really not bother about the ranks and the marks you will get in that particular exam or the test series. You should only count those ranks where you have done your best or at least you have revised 70% to 80% of the core topic or the syllabus of the exam. You need to take your mock exams very seriously. This will help you complete your syllabus well on time. Join a good test series, for example, CDs, Meritors, DBMCI, you name a few, they have really good questions and you can attempt a lot of them. Uh, the next best thing you can do is to be accountable, keep a track, you will crack. So you need to do is just make some columns and write all the exams that you have done and you can write your rank, correct answers, wrong answers, skipped marks, time taken and remarks. So this will help you uh, analyze your test score. First anatomy and oral pathology test that was taken by CDs, uh, it was conducted in January of 2023 and since then I have been writing all of this year and the notes was to revise it again in 25th December of the same year. So I did revise that and here you can see it was 164 right and my rank was 69. Like this was in January of 2023 and this was in Feb and then March so every month end we had an exam proper neat type exam with uh, all the questions and everything so since then i have been doing all of this tracking so my ranks kept flickering around like they were not constant because the amount of efforts that i have put into those times were also not constant like uh, this was in the month of feb or march and phd biochem was in the month of june here my rank was 185 376 but at at this time we our college had some inspections so i was busy in that and then it was you know we had some holidays and everything so so this was all the individual subject wise test so you can only focus on one subject at a time or at least two subjects at a time so this was good ranking based exam because you were only studying for two subjects or one subject at a time so ranks were pretty good at that early preparation phase and when the revision test series started there were many other subjects which came into the picture as the time increases the number of subjects also increases so here I tried my best to study but my ranks was you know around 1500 ish because at this point uh, as you are approaching more of August and September a lot of people actually start becoming more serious about their preparation and they start preparing more. So your ranks they decrease and here see 862, 1247 around 1000. So coming to the most important point is to have really good faith in yourself and to be very focused and you know the marks and the ranks at this point should not matter to you the only thing should matter is you have to com keep completing your syllabus and I did that actually I completed my syllabus completed pulse revised in the whole process of giving mock exams and here is some the pep talks that I've written in my diary it is the more you sweat in practice the less you bleed in battle so this really helped me to keep solving as much as MCQs as much as mock exams as possible to reach to the end goal. So the takeaway message from this video is just keep improving, reviewing and correcting your mistakes in the mock exam. Write everything down in whatever ways you are going wrong. Just keep reviewing and go back to the questions that you are constantly making it wrong and this way you will definitely improve. Uh, your ranks will improve and the final NEET exam will be a success. Now, uh, this is the next clip would be of my final rank of NEET.